It's breeding season here at Running Springs, so we've been doing a lot today. We are checking a couple of mares now. To end the day, we are checking Phoebe and Annie. Um, neither one of them have been bred yet this year. We are kind of keeping track of their cycles to breed them. One of them is getting a frozen embryo, meaning Phoebe. One of them is being bred to carry herself, which is Annie. She wanted her baby with her. She's such a good mama. You're up next, Mr. Huckleberry. Your mama's up next. You get to watch first. So Phoebe will be carrying a Kennedy machine made embryo, which is a full sibling to Kirby. We're doing two of those this year. Now, whether we keep her or we sell her with the embryo in, that is the plan. So as of right now, I'm not decided as to what's happening specifically, but regardless, she's carrying a Kennedy embryo, hopefully. All right, so Phoebe's in big time heat. And since she's getting a frozen embryo, we will time her ovulation and then put the embryo in four days after she's ovulated. So she's got a 42 on her left ovary. So she's probably pretty close. If we can time it to where she ovulates on Wednesday, that'd be best. We try not to put embryos in over the weekend. Timing gets really sketchy with uh, flying embryos and whatnot. So at this point, it's looking like the embryo is most likely going in next Monday, which would put her at having a February 28th. 2026 due date, which is great. We're still early in the year. We're getting to the point where breeding is getting a little like, okay, we're wanting uh, no later than early April babies. So we gotta, we gotta get it right. But um, it's, we're still kind of like in the normal breeding window. It's just like, I was like, oh, if they don't take, it's fine at the very beginning. Now I'm like, please take. Next is Miss Annie Banani. Huckleberry is not happy, but he's not nearly as dramatic as Ruby or Ted. He's pretty sweet about it as long as he gets, as long as he gets his lovings. So it doesn't look like she has a lot of edema. It doesn't look like she's really in heat. Okay, right. that's a gigantic follicle. So that's a four or five, but like I said, she doesn't really have all the ide ideas. Oh my gosh, edema to go with it. So since we're not having to time up shipping, and if we had to breed her quickly, we could because we have the frozen semen in-house for her. Uh, we're gonna check her on Thursday, as well as a bunch of other mares. And since she's breeding to carry her own, we're not having to worry about timing her up with anybody. So it looks like we have a lot of things happening over the next week and a half because yes, we've confirmed three mares pregnant. Yes. We have one more that could potentially be pregnant this week, but we have what it looks like, like four or five that could be bred within the next week and a half. So stay tuned and let me know if you have any more questions.